everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'd like to do another Diamond Art Club unboxing. This time it is not a sneak peek. I'm so sorry to those of you who were looking forward to a sneak peek this week. It's just, it's not here. <laughs> So hopefully soon. Um, but in the meantime, I do have a few canvases that I had uh, kind of trickled in while I was away <laughs> um, in the States. So let's get started. This is diamondartclub.com. I'm an affiliate for this company, so you'll get links and stuff down below if you want to check it out. Lots of details there. This is a round diamond. Can you guess what I got? Yeah, <laughs> I got the beast. The Beast by Mandy Manzano. This is a round diamond shape and it's 46 by 137 centimeters. Y'all, this is huge. And I don't even know, like, okay, I've done the Pocahontas uh, lookalike. Uh, it's the Princess of Peace and now I have the Beast. And I love this one because it's so pink. Um, and, you know, Beast is a complicated character. He really is. But anyway, let's get into the box, shall we? I hope you're having a great day. Today has been one of those all season days, uh, but I think that the rain is here to stay. So Irish weather, y'all. Um, it's drizzling and gray and blah, but that's okay. You gotta have those days so you can appreciate the sunshine, right? So that's everything in the box. Inside we've got the, this is the kind of inventory, well I wouldn't call it that, it's like a legend and it's a sticker sheet. This is before they started cutting them, so that's why that's not cut. Uh, there's 55 colors in this. Wow, it's gonna be so pretty, look at him. He's so pretty. I mean, he's so handsome. <laughs> uh, I have been watching a few people actually do this kit, and uh, his eyes are really intense. So we've got a round toolkit. That means that we get everything, the wax, the tray, the squishy, the multi-placer, the pen, some baggies, and no tweezers because uh, they're hard to pick up uh, with rounds. Rounds are hard to pick up with tweezers, is what I meant to say. I don't have words. I don't think I've talked to anyone but you today. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the uh, the little one that I put on the end of the box. I'm gonna move this aside. Are the diamonds really longer than the painting is wide? Interesting. Let's save that. So, let's see. I'm gonna open it sideways because it's gonna be so big. I already have this in widescreen. Oh my goodness, it keeps going. <laughs> okay, we got to the end. Oh, there's two drill bags, look at that. So many diamonds, so little time. Here's an instruction booklet. Don't forget to look in here for a coupon code or you can look down below, just so you know. <laughs> uh, so we've got two big bags. I'm looking for ABs. I don't see any in this bag. <gasps> I see them. Okay, they're in this bag. So we've got two bags, and you can see that they're um, labeled. So you've got two, one of two and two of two. And look at the beast. Okay, let's bring him back. Try to do this sort of thing <clears throat> so you can see him right side up. So you're not tilting your phone and then it, your phone keeps moving around and yeah. I know the struggle. It got a little dented. That's okay. Can you see? I don't wanna get in the way. Ooh, look at all that beautiful purple up there. We've got three AB colors, Aurora Borealis colors in this, and I'll show you those in just a few minutes, but look at him. Look at his handsome face. Is that a smile I see? No, <laughs> it's kind of a frown. <laughs> well, it depends on how you look at it, I suppose. <laughs> I love Mandy Manzano's style. I love the outlining that she does in all of her pieces. So I'm currently doing uh, Mad Kitty by Mandy Manzano and it's beautiful because I love these like little splotches that happen in her paintings. They really look 
awesome when the diamonds are down. When you've got a round diamond schematic like this printing on here, it kind of looks a little weird, you know, with all the different colors and stuff. But trust me, when you put diamonds on top of that and they're no longer symbols, it's amazing. <laughs> Look at the beautiful rose. Oh my goodness. So we've got his kind of, uh, what, what would you call it? It's not a curse. It's the, it's the, the ticking time bomb <laughs> of curses. Uh, beautiful, uh, beautifully represented there. And as you can see, we have, this is the clasp of his cloak, which is red, I think. And then, and pink clearly. And then his face is huge. That is a lot of brown. <laughs> That's a lot of brown. And then we've got a lot of black and then a little bit of purple. This is going to be so cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at the drills, the colors, and then we're going to look at where those diamonds go on the canvas, the special ones, you know? So let's open up. If you want to skip ahead, I'll put the timestamp here. Right, you ready? Let's look at these first. Let's see what colors we've got. Well, I'll bring it in like I always do. 150, 783. We've got two bags of that light brown color, right? 3371. There's only two bags. 891, 782. 815, that must be in the cloak. 300, 3609, 3865, 938, 3608, and 780. Okay, lots of brown that I expected. <laughs> oh, look at all these little. Okay, so these are the smaller quantities 905 look at how perfect those diamonds are wow so nice 905 38 46 995 758 oh and a hitchhiker 327 762 oh my goodness <laughs> a bunch of the purple went in there 904 3778 415, 906, 356, 3837, my new favorite, 3830, 550, 907, 355, 318, these, these drills are just not social distancing, 317, 414, oh, and 819, all right, so that was all in the first baggy. Now we've got a second bag to look at. <gasps> These beautiful colors. All right, so how many bags of 310 do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. That's not too bad. 728 and 400. And then, ooh, 600. Never comes up right on my camera. I don't know why. I wish it would. It's so beautiful. 445. 321, 956, there's 180, 128, so pretty, can you see how it's like super sparkly, yay, so pretty, it looks like a, um, the color of like a cherry blossom, that's what it reminds me of, beautiful, 3799, 814, 3608, 606, 743, 129. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. You know what? Th this kind of reminds me of those lanterns in Tangled at the end of the movie. No spoilers. 915. 413. 126. Oh, 
Pretty lavender. Oh, so pretty. It's like actual diamonds, isn't it? Gorgeous. 718, 307, 209, 210, 917, and 208. And that's it. That's all the drills. Okay, so let's zoom out again and have a look-see. So I'm guessing that the lavender ones go up there. Uh, the lavender is number one. Yep. And it's all this like middle shade in there around the, around the top there. Uh, and then we're looking for the pink, which is number two and the yellow, which is number three. I see threes on the tips of his ears, I think, or that's not his ear. Sorry. That's his ear. That's his hair. So at the tip of the hair. There are threes here on his eyebrows and here. There's some right there. These are all the creamy yellow one, the light yellow. Threes around here and in the tip of his chin. And then we have twos, which is the pink. So I've got twos in the center of this bright spot here. And we keep going down. We have twos all around in the glass, all throughout the glass here. Beautiful. Lots and lots and lots of AB focused in this section, which is perfect. And then we've got threes here on the outside. I guess this is, maybe this is like a, a frame for the glass. I'm really not sure, but um, it's beautiful. That's a lot of Aurora Borealis. Oh, there's three here in the plant as well, in the plant, in the rose, in the, the leaf of the rose. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So this is a very large diamond painting. It should be, I think it's exactly the same size as the Princess of Peace that I did. Uh, it certainly looks that way. Um, and personally, I would just, just from my own personal recommendation, I would go from the top down. And then as you're working on the diamond painting, nobody asked me for this, but I'm going to tell you anyway, as you're working on it, uh, roll the completed parts away from you with the diamonds facing out. So like this, and then you can use like, you know, clothesline clips or binder clips or whatever to hold it like that. And you can put that off the table. Excuse me, something got on my phone. So you can put that off the table and then as you're working, you just keep going, pull down the plastic, you know, you could cover it with the release papers if you want. They're available on Diamond Art Club's site as well. Um, and then, you know, you just keep working, keep rolling the diamonds away from you as you're finishing the sections and it gets easier and easier to manage as you go along. So then by the end of it, it's a very kind of manageable section for diamond painting and when you unroll that baby like the sense of accomplishment is unreal let me tell you <laughs> so this is this is going to be a fantastic diamond painting to work on it's got all the challenges that you would probably want in a diamond painting I believe that this one is actually out of stock on the site at the moment but they do have a section on the bottom under the description where it says out of stock, it says to enter your email address and they notify you when it's back in stock. So I would recommend doing that and uh, join their Facebook group so that you can get all the juicy deets of when things are releasing. They do, um, they do these random like back in stocks, uh, pre-orders, they ask for our opinions on artwork that's coming up. So they'll say, here, we've got all of these images. Um, which are your favorite? Vote for your favorite. And it kind of gives those who really enjoy buying from Diamond Art Club a sense of, you know, not only community, but kind of 
choosing what we want to see from them as as buyers, as the, the people who are actually buying. So um, instead of them guessing what we want, you know, so that's awesome. Um, I want to say a big thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this to me. They sent this to my house while I was away. And I know that it's been a very long time, <laughs> but I really appreciate it. They, this was sent to me for free so that I could share it with you all. Um, but I absolutely love it. And just like with the Princess of Peace, I think that this would look really good in like the library, the kids section, um, especially since... The Princess of Peace is so, you know, feminine. I feel like maybe this would be a good uh, one to put side by side so that the boys in the, sec in the library won't feel, you know, down on themselves or something. They'll have the beast to look at, even though he's beautiful and pink. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope that you have a great weekend ahead. I hope that you enjoy the new releases that are coming this weekend. And if you haven't seen them, head on over to Facebook or Instagram. Check out Diamond Art Club to see what's coming out. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> You're going to love it. There's something for everyone this week. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.